Last Reaper. Alright, let's uh, replace this chassis and let's replace this heart sister. We got Chromatic Code and Frostburn. It's not a good hand, but because we only got two helms, we need. I don't have anything else to supplement the helms. So I might have to replace the Chromatic Code or the Frigid Corona. I might replace the Frigid Corona. We got Enfeeble, which doesn't really help in this situation. Um, so I'm just gonna play a helm here and a helm like uh, over here. We'll end our turn. Now we got a sword, which is still better. <laughs> now I'm playing one card behind. The opponent does have five, and um, I, I want to say the board position is more or less equal considering it's a Gloom Chaser and a Wraithling, and it depends what he plays right now. Shadow Sister. I mean. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's just wipe the board for now. We're, we're just gonna go over here, play a sword on the mana spring. So now we have two mana left. We'll just chromatic hold this shadow sister so he's not gonna get the benefit. And then we'll attack the gloom chaser and attack this wraithling. So now I all I have is a sword and all he has is a, a dispelled shadow sister and we got a frigid chrono which I might replace again because I need I need either better spells or mechs in general or even like a heart sister that would be nice because I do have my bloodborne spell next turn. So what's he gonna play? A blood tier alchemist. So he's gonna trade with the with the shadow sister. That is perfectly fine. So then I'm gonna replace the frigid corona, um, and I might save the frostburn. Maybe not. Let's, let's see what I draw first. And feeble. So we got two enfeebles, but um, yeah. Let's just do our bloodborne spell. Move back a little and we'll end our turn there. We got another sword, so th this will be our fourth mech. I might replace the Enfeeble considering they're, most of them are literally 1-1s one already. play with the five cards he has. A Cryptographer. He's gonna do his Bloodborne spell, I think. But now would be a good time to do a Frostburn, I would say. I've only taken one damage. He doesn't have any Death Watchers out. Uh, which is weird. Uh, which is weird. Darkfire Sacrifice. What's he gonna play? Uh, Shadow Sister. Okay. So. Let's replace one in Feeble. So we got a Dancing Blades. Um, I can't reach a Shadow Sister, so. Kinda have to do a Frostburn. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think I have to do a Frostburn. Next turn, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll set up with an Enfeeble first, but... Uh, so we have six mana, let's just play an Enfeeble there, and we'll just play a sword behind us, and we'll end the turn. Uh, I think that works. And then next turn we can do a Frostburn. And if he plays anything more with uh, health, I can swap... Oh, never mind. I can just do a Bloodborne spell. Blood Moon Priestess, so that works with Frostburn. So that's pretty cool. He's gonna throw a lot of things under the bus and he's gonna gain a lot of health, but... Um, 
either way. We're just gonna do a frost burn next turn because we kind of have to with the blood moon on the field. <laughs> need to replace the Dancing Blades, hopefully I get something, uh, castable. After all this, I'm still at 17 health, which is pretty nice. So, that's his turn. Let's replace Dancing Blades. I got a Blood Tear Alchemist, which we can save for later. But first, we'll just do a Frost Burn, just wiping the board completely. And then we'll just move over and then do Bloodborne Spell. And our turn. We got a cannon. So I think this will be our fourth. If I've been keeping track right. It's either the fourth or the fifth. I remember the two helms and the frenzy. A spectral revenant, that's not good. <laughs> And I don't have my Bloodborne spell, so that's kind of, uh... Let's just replace our Blood Tear Alchemist. Or, yeah. We got an Enfeeble. Um, so let's just do an Enfeeble. Uh, Heart Sister this over. And then play our Cannon. Oh, so we do. Ew, that was our fifth one. That's pretty cool. And then we'll attack the Spectral Revenant, and we'll end our turn. So then next turn, assuming he doesn't kill me with the two cards he has in his hand, we can do 8, 9, 10, oh, oh, never mind. We can do 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. What two cards does he have in his hand? A light bender. Oh, that, I mean, it's still an 8 8, so uh, I'm fine with that. However, it's now targetable. I mean, it's, it's one of the flaws of this deck, but uh, I wasn't hoping to last this long. Another, that's his second Shadow Sister? Um, I think so, so let's replace Cannon. I got a Dancing Blades. Um, let's see. I have to, so yeah, I have to move back. Let's move back two, we'll move this forward. And then we'll do a Dancing Blades into our Bloodborne spell. Um, I'll move this over here. Kill this light bender and shoot the general for two. And one turn. So we got a meltdown, which is our backup plan. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't kill me with the one card he has in his hand. I don't know if he can kill me with the one card he has in his hand, but it could be it could be a meltdown for all I know. Bloodborne spell. Ooh, a Grandmaster Variax. That's a that's quite a thing. Oh, we have to bring this down. So we'll, let's see if we can, we can kill the Grandmaster, but we have to throw everything at it. So let's just run away from it. Um, so we're just gonna do a meltdown here. I mean, I probably should have played it closer, but um, let's do our blood. No, let's kill things first. Like, uh, let's see, or. Wait, what did- oh yeah, I can kill it with the range, that's why. Uh, four, five, six, seven, and then two more. And then we'll kill this Wraithling and then do Bloodborne Spell in case if it targets that Wraithling or not. Cool, it attacked the general, so that's pretty nice. Uh, we can't do anything else, so we'll just end our turn. Oh, we got a Frostburn. So while he does have his Bloodborne spell and one card, uh, we have ways to get rid of it, more or less. 
I don't know what he has in his hand though, so it's always a issue. So you gonna lose buff more spell. And it's my is probably gonna die to that Wraithling. Uh, which is fine. So I can just kill the general right now with my range, my general damage, and my bloodborne spell, so that's pretty much the game. So we'll just do our bloodborne spell, see where it targets. And target the general. So we got lucky with that, but we had lethal even if the meltdown targeted either Wraithling with our general and a 2-2 Mechasaur ranged. So that was a pretty good game, pretty close.